Welcome to our four minute guide to Paddock School Remote Access. Remote Access is a free service offered by LGFL and Atomwide to allow teachers to access school documents whilst away from school. Before we start, we have to make sure we are using a laptop supplied by the school and that the user has logged on at school and made sure he or she can log in and all is okay. Okay, let's begin. Switch on the computer till we get to the Control Alt Delete. Press Control Alt Delete and log in as your normal school user account. The next thing to do is to set up the Wi Fi. So we click on the Wi Fi icon and choose your home network and press the Connect key. You will be requested for a home security key which we type in and everything should be OK as shown now. If everything connects, all the bars should be without any crosses or anything. The next thing to do is to switch off the laptop. Switch off the laptop and then restart it again. Once the restart has taken shape and you come to the Control Alt Delete screen, which will take a little bit of time, this is the time you must use Switch User option. By using the Switch User option, you will see on the bottom right hand side of your screen a network connection icon. Click on the network connection icon and you should see a window that says login. Here you log in with your USO logins. Once you have entered your USO logins you click OK and you should be back at the start window again. Now log on to the screens as normal. Once you have logged on, you will see that your network connections have not connected. This is the time when you click, click on the network login and hopefully your network uh, files and folders will be there. If the other drives have still got crosses on them, click on them and log in using your network connection again and eventually you should have all your drives. Make sure S drive is logged on before using SIMS. To use SIMS, just click on the SIMS icon and eventually, a minute or two later, the SIMS uh, window will appear. It will take a bit of time, but once it's all been loaded and it's been all been configured, it will be operational as shown next. Here we go. And the next thing we do is FMS. For FMS, we can actually click on the FMS icon and eventually we should be into FMS as well. FMS login and all is OK. Now there's a few things to be mindful of regarding troubleshooting. If you find that the network icon is missing when you do uh, control all delete as shown below and the network icon is missing you log on as normal and click on Cisco AnyConnect and choose the gear icon on the window and make sure all is ticked as per the preferences tab as shown below. Restart the system and you should be able to see the network icon. Thanks for watching.